And then we'll move up there where it's a little more difficult. Okay. But not really that much more difficult. So, um, I want to I want to give you an overview of this equipment that we've purchased or that you've purchased, so that you know how to use it. Um, we've got. I'm, I'm trying to stay right. in the in the camera shot here. <laughs> Sorry. I'll move around. So uh, we've got these little green boxes. They're called stage bugs. Uh, direct boxes. These are for interfacing things like guitars, uh, your electric piano, um, basically anything that has a quarter inch output. Um, you can go from that, from the output of the, uh, of the guitar into, into one of these quarter inch inputs. Mm -hmm. And then out of that with a standard mic cable and plug into a mic input. Now, there are a couple of buttons on this. On the one end, on the, where the XLR is, there's a button labeled lift. Mm -hmm. That is a ground lift switch. So if, you, if ever you plug in an instrument or a guitar or something and you hear a buzz or a hum, try pushing that switch. It lifts the ground on the signal and it should eliminate uh, the uh, the buzz. When you plug them in, you should be turned off, right? I mean, you should be off, kind of. Right? I would I would recommend that when you're plugging things in, that your system is turned off. Yes. Okay. okay. On the other end, where the quarter inch is, there's another button, and it's labeled pad. Mm -hmm. That is a button that actually drops the signal, I believe it's 20 dB. So if you ever get a guitar or something that has a really, really loud input, then you could push that button. Yeah. Vice versa, if you plug something in and you go, how come I'm not getting any level? That's one, that's the button to check. Yeah. Uh, that's happened to me, because that's it's an easy button for somebody to hit and not, not, not really realize. This little box is a direct box, it does have a transformer built into it. So it does a, accomplishes a couple of different things. One thing is that it balances up the signal. So the, the signal that comes from the guitar is an unbalanced signal. And that does not travel a distance very well. Uh, if you go over 15 or 20 feet in an unbalanced setting, or a little bit longer, you might start picking up some RF and some other noises and stuff, and it's, it's just not good. So it balances up the signal. The, the mic cable is a balanced signal because there's three conductors, or two conductors and a shield. So that protects it for the long distance from, from the stage to the, uh, to the rack. Um, and then it also does uh, things to the impedance. Usually a guitar is a high impedance output and, and the mixer wants to see a low impedance. Now we're getting into some pretty technical stuff. So just, just if you need to plug in a guitar or your electric piano, this is the device to use. You've got four of them, so you've got lots, lots and lots to be able to use. Now, what's this through button? What's that through thing? Oh, yeah, good question. So there's two quarter inch connectors on it. One is labeled input, and one is labeled through. So if a guitarist comes in and he has his own amplifier, mm -hmm. so he could, he's, and he says, I really want to use my amplifier as a monitor. So he could go into the input with his, from his guitar to the input, and then out of the through to his guitar amplifier. Okay. And uh, that's just a, just a loop, loop yeah. through. Um, I suggest that, um, if at all possible, that you eliminate the guitar amplifier mm -hmm. uh, because that's taking the volume out of your hands as operators. Mm -hmm. You want to be yeah. able to have. I was going to ask you that question. The volume there, is he going to get whatever he turns up on his guitar there? We can't adjust that. You cannot adjust his amplifier. Right. Yep. You can only adjust what's going into the system. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. And so that's, that's where an yep. issue comes in. Okay. Now, these quarter inch cables, you've got four of them. So uh, they, they go from your guitar, no, from your guitar All right. okay. to the direct box. So you notice there's a red end and a, and a silver end. The red end is, is it called a silent plug. So I'm sure you've all experienced it where a guitarist unplugs or plugs in when a, when a, when a channel is live and you get the chunk and click and buzz. This connector is supposed to eliminate that. So, um, so if he plugs it in, there's a little spring-loaded end here and there's, that actually doesn't get connection until it goes all the way in. So, so the other end should be plugged in before that, then you plug the red end into the guitar. That's right. That's where, uh, that's where you get uh, the ability to, to plug and unplug your guitar with the system on. Yep. Okay. Right. It's still recommended to have it muted. Um, and my cables, you've got, uh, Chris and I were working through this earlier, you've got a number of 10-foot cables and a number of 25-foot cables. So it, just to just to get you yep. to um, be able to go wherever you need to go. I'm going to go into this box. Uh, we're going to talk about that box in a little while. Later. <laughs> no jumping ahead, Luke. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Give him a program. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk about about this box here. Monitors. Oh, monitor speaker. This is your monitor speaker. So it is a, uh, a QSC K8, there's an amplifier built in. It's actually a 2000 watt amplifier built into this thing. So you can get lots and lots of power. Actually, this is only the K8, so it might be slightly less. But anyway, it's, um, you got lots of power. You don't need to worry about that. Two kilowatts, 2000. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> They, they have uh, the K8, the K10, the K12, and I, I uh, couldn't remember if they kept it the same. So this thing, um, uh, so we need to plug it in to get power, and I should probably do that to demonstrate a couple of things. But before I do that, let's, uh, let's just talk about it. You've got, uh, you've got three inputs on the back of this unit. For the most part, and you're using it as a monitor, you're going to use one input. And that would be either this one or this one. Okay. These connectors here are what they call combo jacks. So they can take a quarter inch, or they can take oh, really? an XLR. <laughs> okay. cool. So when you're using it as a monitor, uh, use a quarter inch. Use an XLR cable. Okay. okay? And, and you will be coming out of, out of that stage box over there. We'll talk about that in a little while. So on top of each of the connectors, uh, there's a volume control for that, connect, for that uh, connector. Mm -hmm. And this one here is an eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter, so you can plug a phone or something into that. The handy thing about this particular speaker is the three inputs. You can use this monitor as uh, a speaker in a small meeting room or something like that. Mm -hmm. Plug a microphone directly into this, set it to mic level, and you've got, uh, you've got a sound system in box. Okay. That would be handy because they talked about uh, Trinity Hall, not Trinity Hall, Norfolk room. Mm -hmm. Getting yep. a small mic for, or amplifier. Oh, yeah. Remember? Yep. yep. That could, so that would be could handy. work really, really well. Now it does come with um, two post holes. So one of them puts it straight up and down. The other one is angled so that it's actually angled down oh, a little okay. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the reason why they do that is if you raise the speaker up on a, on a high pole, you want to aim it down so it's aimed at the people. Right. Instead of at the back wall where nobody hears. Yeah. Okay, there is a bit of configuration on this, and this is where I want to uh, want to plug it in. And probably want to plug in the other one and just confirm things. They both work. 